The ink is barely dry on the release of Apple's M4 chips, and the devices are just starting to settle on desks around the world. Yet the technology industry never sleeps. The attention of analysts, enthusiasts, and power users has already shifted aggressively toward the next big thing on the horizon, which is the M5 generation of Apple Silicon. This is not just impatient speculation. It is because the Mac Mini has quietly become one of the most interesting computers Apple makes. For a long time, the Mac Mini was the forgotten child of the lineup, but today, it represents the perfect intersection of power, portability, and price. It offers a way to get into the Apple ecosystem without buying a massive tower or paying the premium price of the Mac Studio. Because of this new status, the rumors surrounding the M5 Mac Mini are heating up faster than anyone expected. And if you're thinking about buying a desktop soon, you need to know what is coming. To understand where we are going, we have to look at where we just arrived. Late 2024 was a massive moment for the Mac Mini. After nearly 15 years of recycling the same old flat, aluminum square design, Apple finally broke the mold. They introduced a redesign that was bold, modern, and frankly, long overdue. The M4 Mac Mini arrived looking like a miniature Mac Studio. It was taller, but significantly smaller in footprint, clearing up desk space and looking much more professional. It wasn't just about looks, though. The M4 model brought serious performance at a starting price of $599. You get a 10-core CPU, a 10-core GPU, and crucially, they finally bumped the base RAM to 16 gigabytes. For the pro users, the M4 Pro model offered a monster machine with 24 gigabytes of RAM and massive throughput. It was nearly perfect, aside from the strange decision to put the power button on the bottom, forcing you to lift the computer to turn it on. But now, the question on everyone's mind is simple. Will Apple keep this momentum going with the M5, or will the Mac Mini be left behind again? The leaks regarding the M5 Silicon are starting to paint a very clear picture. We know that production for the M5, M5 Pro, and even the M5 Mac ships is already underway deep within Apple's supply chain. The big worry for Mac Mini fans is Apple's history of skipping generations. We saw them skip the M3 chip entirely for the Mac Mini, just like they skipped the M2 for the 24-inch iMac. It is a valid concern. However, current industry speculation is placing a 70% probability on the Mac Mini receiving the M5 upgrade. That is a high confidence level. It suggests that Apple is done treating the Mini like a second-class citizen and is ready to put it on a regular, annual, or near-annual upgrade cycle. This means that desktop users are likely to see a significant performance jump much sooner than they are used to. When we look under the hood at what the M5 chip will actually offer, the story becomes even more compelling. We are not expecting a massive change in the CPU core count for the base model. The M4's 10-core setup is already incredibly fast for daily tasks. Instead, Apple seems to be focusing its engineering efforts on the graphics department. The rumors suggest that the base M5 chip could move from 10 GPU cores up to 12 GPU cores. Two cores might not sound like a revolution, but in the world of Apple Silicon, that additional graphical headroom makes a huge difference for video editing, 3D rendering, and the growing library of AAA games coming to the Mac. For the M5 Pro model, the gains look even better. We could see the CPU bump up by two cores and the GPU expand from 16 to 18 cores. This would turn the M5 Pro Mac Mini into a legitimate workstation that rivals much larger and more expensive PC towers. However, there is one area where the leaks are a mix of good news and bad news. Let's start with the bad news. It does not look like Apple is planning to increase the base RAM beyond 16 gigabytes for the M5 generation. While 16 gigabytes is a great starting point, many competitors in the mini PC space are now offering 32 gigabytes as a standard. But the good news comes in the form of storage. For years, the 256 gigabytes starting storage on Macs has been a point of frustration. It fills up too fast. There is now a cautious optimism bubbling up from the supply chain that the M5 base model might finally start at 512 gigabytes. If this happens, it changes the value proposition completely. At M, 
means less reliance on slow external hard drives and more room for your apps and photos right out of the box. For the Pro model, we might even see a one terabyte baseline. This would finally bring Apple to parity with the rest of the desktop market and silence, one of the biggest criticisms of the machine. Now, you are probably wondering when you can actually buy this thing. The release timeline is a bit complex, but we can decipher it by looking at Apple's other products. According to reliable analysts like Ming-Chi Kuo, the first device to actually get the M5 chip will likely be the iPad Pro. Mass production for that tablet is scheduled for late 2025. This gives us a major clue. Apple typically likes to debut new silicon in its mobile devices, the iPad or the MacBook, before putting it into the desktop Mac Mini. This means we should not expect an M5 Mac Mini in the summer of 2025. That is too soon. The most realistic window for a launch is late 2025, perhaps around November, which would mirror the M4 launch window. However, there's also a strong possibility that it slips into early 2026, landing in January or February. This would follow Apple's production cadence perfectly, ensuring they have enough chips manufactured to meet demand. The price is the final piece of the puzzle, and thankfully, it looks stable. Apple seems to have found the sweet spot with the current pricing structure. We expect the M5 Mac Mini to hold the line at $599 for the base model and $1,399 for the Pro model. This is crucial for Apple. They need the Mac Mini to remain the accessible entry point into the ecosystem. By keeping the price steady while boosting the GPU performance and potentially doubling the storage, they are essentially increasing the value of the device without technically lowering the price. From a connectivity standpoint, don't expect a revolution, but do expect refinement. The Thunderbolt ports, HDMI 2.1, and 10 gigabit Ethernet options will remain, but we might see faster data transfer protocols and better support for multiple high-resolution displays, which is a key requirement for the creative professionals who flock to this device. So where does this leave us? The M5 Mac Mini is shaping up to be more than just a spec bump. It represents a shift in Apple's strategy. They're no longer content with the Mac Mini being a basic computer for casual users. They are positioning it as a compact powerhouse that uses AI acceleration and power efficiency to punch way above its weight class. It is becoming a viable solution for developers, video editors, and 3D artists who previously thought they had to buy a Mac Studio. The M4 redesign set the stage, but the M5 internals are going to perfect the performance. My best opinion on this product. Honestly, the M5 Mac Mini sounds like it is going to be the absolute best value computer on the market, period. If the rumors about the storage bump to 512 gigabytes are true, that fixes the only real flaw of the current M4 model. 256 gigabytes just isn't enough in 2025. By fixing that bottleneck and boosting the GPU for gaming and rendering, Apple is creating a machine that will last most users five to seven years without slowing down. It is the death of the noisy, bulky desktop tower. If you can wait until late 2025, this machine is going to be a beast. If you like this deep dive into the future of the Mac, make sure you subscribe to the channel, share this video with your tech-loving friends, and hit that bell icon so you never miss an update on the latest leaks.